What's going on everybody out in YouTube land, and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this episode, I'm going to carry on with my series of showing my mail calls. Uh, this is all the mail that I received today. And um, I really enjoy doing this uh, set of videos. I like showing you guys what I get and talking about the things I like. Um, I think today I got about 11 packages in the mail. So today we're going to be unboxing 11 things. And once again, guys, I want to say this at the beginning of all these videos. I sort of know what I've got, but I don't know exactly. I don't keep track of when things are going to be delivered. So this is kind of like a surprise for me, too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start opening these up and see what we got in the mail today. All right, so first up, we've got a standard um, envelope mailer here. So get out our box cutter and let's see what we got. Looks like a Wii game. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I, I collect the Wii pretty heavy. Um, I would like to eventually have a complete set for the Wii. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I'm casually going for that. I think right now I have somewhere around 320 games or so for the Wii. So this one will add to that. I think I know what this is before I even open it. And I've been looking to pick this up for a little while. It's bubble wrap, pretty heavy. All right, so for the Nintendo Wii, we have The Calling. So for those of you who don't know, The Calling is kind of like a uh, horror game for the Nintendo Wii. I've never played it, so I can't really divulge exactly what it's about, but I really like games like this. And I do know that this uses the uh, the Wii controller pretty uniquely because, you know, sound can come out of the Wii controller. So supposedly when the you can get phone calls in the game and the actual Wii controller will ring and you can put up to your ear and they basically talk to you through that. But yeah, I've been looking to get this, so I'm very happy to get the calling for the Wii. And this one is brand new factory sealed. That kind of sucks because I... I really don't want to open it because it is factory sealed, but I do want to play it. So we'll have to see exactly what I do. To be honest with you, I'll probably end up opening it. But yeah, so first package, the calling for the Nintendo Wii. Alright, so moving right along, we've got another envelope here. Alright. So this is a 3DS game. I don't pick these up too often. I'll typically only get 3DS games if I find them for super cheap. It's a system I really don't play that much, to be honest with you. Um, and I know this game was really cheap. I think I paid $4 for this shipped. So we have Ninjago Nindroids, which is a Lego game. Lego Ninjago Nindroids. So, I mean, I really don't know much about this specific LEGO game, but in the past I've played a lot of LEGO games and I do enjoy them a whole lot. So when I found this for four bucks shipped to your door, I figured why not? So we've got Ninjago Nin Nindroids for the 3DS. That name had me kind of messed up there for a little bit. It's kind of hard to pronounce some of this stuff, especially if you're not prepared for it. All right, so the third package is another standard mailing envelope. All right, PlayStation 3 game. Sounds like the disc is loose. This still looks in great shape. So for the PlayStation 3, we have Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Uh, once again, this is a game I really don't know too much about. I haven't never played this, but I really like the Resident Evil series. So when given the chance, I pick up games that I don't have, and this is one I didn't have. 
And once again, this was really cheap, so I figured why not. So yeah, guys, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And like I said, if you guys know what this game is like, uh, is it a standard game or is it an offshoot game? Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm curious. And I don't exactly know when I'll be able to play this. So yeah, if you know anything about this game, just let me know, alright? So, happy to add it to the collection. I don't have too many PS3 games, so I always try to add those when I get a chance. Alright, so next up we've got another mailing envelope here. Alright, this is a Super Nintendo game. Alright, well this is a little bit beat up, but it's not terrible. And I got this for a really good deal, so I don't mind. Finally added to my Super Nintendo collection, we have Contra 3 The Alien Wars. So this is actually a, a game that I've been wanting to add for quite a while. I just don't want to pay the uh, asking price for it because I'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot of time it's hard to find this game for under $30. So I ended up getting this for a really good deal. I got this for under $20 shipped. So I figured it was time to go ahead and pull the trigger when I could find it for that. And the label's not in terrible condition. It is a little bit beat up, but I'm not a, I'm not huge on perfect labels and stuff like that. As long as I can read what it is and it looks fairly presentable and it plays, then I'm good. So yeah, Contra 3 The Alien Wars for Super Nintendo. This is one of my buddy's favorite games. Um, he always talks about this game when we talk about the Super Nintendo. I haven't spent a whole lot of time with it, so I do look forward to diving into this. Um, for you guys that have played this a lot, is this better than the NES Contras? Uh, I'm just curious. But yeah, so happy to get this and excited to give it a try. Alright, moving right along, we've got another envelope here. Looks like a loose disc. And it is. So this is kind of an interesting story. What this is, is it's Sega CD, and it's WWF Rage in the Cage. So if you guys have watched some of my uh, previous videos, you'll probably know that I got this game a while ago. And I think it was even included in my Sega CD collection video. If you haven't looked at that, please go back and look at it. Um, but... The disc looked like it was in good shape, but when I went to play it that night, um, I was getting a disc error every time I tried to play the game. So I contacted the seller, and he gave me a partial discount. And with the money that he gave me for the partial discount, I went ahead and bought a loose disc of the game. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to play it now. And happy to add WWF Rage in the Cage again for the Sega CD. All right, moving right along, we've got a box here. So let's go ahead and see what's in this box. All right, looks like we've got another Sega CD game here. I love it when people ship things in good boxes that could get damaged. I've never understood why people will ship collectibles in an envelope. Um, when they know it's in some sort of cardboard box or something that can get crushed, it makes no sense. But, alright, so this is interesting. I did not know that this was brand new and sealed. Which is okay, because I honestly, I didn't really expect to play this. Um, it was kind of just to add to the collection. We have kids on site for the Sega CD. Once again, when I when I bought this, if they did say it was sealed, I didn't know it. But I can tell from the seal that this is factory sealed as well. So you can't get much better condition than that. So definitely happy to add kids on site for the Sega CD factory sealed. And like I said, this isn't one I'm going to play or have any need to play. So it is kind of neat that it's sealed and I will leave it that way. So yeah, happy to have this. Add it to my Sega CD collection. Um, I don't even know if this is actually a game or not. It could just be like, it says it's a full motion interactive video. So if you've played this, let me know. And I mean, is it fun? I highly doubt it, but just let me know. 
All right, so moving right along, we've got another envelope here. Sheesh, if I could get it out of here. God, sorry about the time this is taking. I usually don't have this much trouble. It was in there so tight I didn't want to cut the game, so I was trying to get around it. But uh, this Sega CD game, I mean Sega Master System game, I'm sorry. We have Wanted for the Sega Master System. So I've never played this, but from what I can tell from the gameplay footage, this looks like a light phaser game. Um, which, like I said in a previous video, I do have the Sega light phaser, so I'm definitely happy to get this and want to try it out. Um, it doesn't have the manual, obviously, but the game in the... Uh, the uh, case is all I really need. Um, I like a good light gun game. Um, I'm a huge fan of the light gun arcade games back in the mid-90s. So I'm definitely happy to get this and looking forward to trying it. So yeah, we've got Wanted on the Sega Master System. Alright, moving right along, we've got another envelope here. And it's in uh, cardboard things. So at least, like something like this, at least they're protecting it more um, than just putting it in the standard envelope. Because this is a jewel case, and as you know, those can get broken in the mail easily. Alright, so this is a PlayStation 1 game. And this is a game that's not like an expensive game, or it probably won't make people's greatest games on the system list. But this is a game me and my friends played a lot when I was a teenager. So for the PlayStation 1, we have Cool Borders 2. So if you grew up in the mid-90s, you know Cool Borders was a pretty popular snowboarding game. Um, and it was one that we loved. I, I absolutely could not tell you how much we enjoyed uh, trying to perform the most tricks in this game, getting high scores. Um, and this is the one that we played the most. I played all of this series, but Cool Borders 2, I, I still feel like this is the best game of the series. But yeah, so I'm happy to get this finally for my PlayStation 1 collection. And I will probably play the heck out of this game. So yeah, Cool Borders 2, happy to get it. And I'll put that in my PlayStation 1 collection. Alright, so next up we've got another envelope here. Goodness gracious, they wrap this around with a lot of paper. So this is a Nintendo Switch game, um, and it's honestly one that I don't know a whole lot about. But the reason why I got it is it was cheap. I think I got this for $15 shipped. So when I can pick up a Switch game for $15, bucks, i am probably going to do it. This is PixArk. So once again, I know this is not a super expensive game. I really don't know how popular it is and how many people are still playing it. But like I said, for 15 bucks, I'm not going to pass it up. And I'm always happy to add Switch games to the collection. Here soon, I kind of want to do an overview of my whole entire Switch collection. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. It's just kind of a daunting task that I... Got to find time to, you know, to do it. But let me know down below in the comment section if you guys would like to see my total Switch collection. I think I'm right around 200 physical Switch games. I could be a little bit off, but just let me know if you guys want to see that. And, you know, either way, I'm probably going to do it. So look for that 
you know, at some point in time. So yeah, guys, we got PixArk for the Nintendo Switch. Interested to see what it's all about, because like I said, I know nothing about that game. Alright guys, looks like we're down to the final two packages. So we'll open up this envelope first. Alright, so this looks like a Sega CD game as well. Unfortunately, I'm going to sound like a noob right now, but I don't really know too much about this game either. And although I'm getting these games and I don't know a whole lot about them, uh, I kind of enjoy that though because I always tend to find some games that I really like that I absolutely had no idea what they were. Especially for some of these Sega systems that I've just started collecting for, I'm still learning their libraries. Um, I don't know if this is one I'm going to like, but I'll definitely give it a try. This is Lodestar The Legend of Tully Bodine. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I really don't know a whole lot about this uh, Sega CD game, but I'm excited to put it in and try it and see what it's all about. And this one's complete. It's just missing the uh, little styrofoam there, which, you know, I don't really need. So yeah, happy to get this and add this to my Sega CD collection. My Sega CD collection is growing rapidly. I'm absolutely loving the system. So yeah, Lodestar, The Legend of Tully Bodine for the Sega CD. All right, so last up, I've saved this box for the last one. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. Um, and this is probably gonna be one of my favorite pickups because I've been um, really wanting to pick up more of these games. So let's go ahead and cut this tape and let's show you what I got here. So I told you guys I'm looking to beef up my PS1 collection. Um, Primarily because it's it's one of my favorite systems from when I was a teenager, and I've really gotten back into it here recently. I what what happened was I bought a PS3 that was backwards compatible, one of the 60 gigabyte models. So that PS3 will play PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. So due to that, I've been playing a whole lot more PS1 games. So I'm going back and right now I'm collecting a lot of the games that I remember when I was a kid. And these games are definitely some good games that I remember playing when I was younger. And also these are actually PlayStation long box games. And I have a big fascination with these long box games. That's one of the reasons why I like Sega CD so much. But for the PS1 and the long box, we have Busta Move 2, the arcade edition. So I'm a big puzzle game fan, and Bust a Move is like so much fun. Uh, one of my favorite puzzle type games of all time. And I mean, the hinge is broke, but as you can see, I mean, it's in decent shape otherwise. I just looked at the disc and the disc looks brand new, and it's complete. Like I said, the hinge is broke, but I don't really care about that too much, as long as it's presentable. But very, very happy to get Bust a Move 2, the arcade edition, on PS1 long box. Alright, so next up for the long box games, we have WrestleMania, the arcade game. For the PS1. So, you know, I've got this on Super Nintendo and probably some other stuff too. Um, but I'm excited to put it in for the PS1. This is one I did not play when I was young. Um, but it'll be neat to see the differences between this one and the Super Nintendo version. This is a really, really fun uh, wrestling game. If you guys haven't never played this, this kind of mixes wrestling with a fighting game, like a standard 2D fighting game. Um, it's like an over-the-top wrestling game, kind of like Saturday Morning Slam Masters, but maybe even a little bit more crazy than that. It's just a different kind of wrestling game, and it's really fun. It's got a pretty limited character selection, but they've got some good characters on there to wrestle with. A lot of the staples for the time, you know, like Undertaker and HBK. I think Brett the Hitman Hart is on here. Yeah, 
You got Doink, Razor Ramon, Yokozuna, ba uh, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Lex Luger. So yeah, WrestleMania the arcade game. So that's pretty neat. It's got digitized graphics, so it's kind of got that Mortal Kombat look to it. But definitely happy to add that. So last but not least, probably the game I wanted most out of this set. And it's no secret, I've told you guys before that I really love the Road Rash games. And I'm going to pick them up anytime I get a chance. So this is Road Rash on the PS1. The long box variant. So yeah, if you guys saw one of my previous pickups videos, I just got finished um, adding the Sega CD version of Road Rash to my collection. So it will be fun to play this one and kind of compare the PS1 version to the Sega CD and see how each of them hold up uh, against each other. So that's something I look forward to. So yeah, Road Rash for the PS1. Um, definitely a fun series of games. I had a great time playing these when I was a kid. So happy to add uh, Road Rash for the PlayStation 1. Alright guys, so that's going to about tie this video up. We opened up the 11 packages I got in the mail today. Let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I picked up. Um, like I said, for me, those three long box PS1 games there at the end were probably some of my favorite pickups. Um, but Contra 3 The Alien Wars was a great get too. Um, something that's kind of like a staple for anybody's Super Nintendo collection. But yeah guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to go open up some more boxes and packages. Um, Try to enjoy the rest of my evening, and I hope you guys have a good evening too. So until next time, see you later.